stick around to the end of the video to find out step by step how we created this gorgeous looking custom app bar. Hey guys, welcome to Diva Academy and in this tutorial we are going to look at app bar in Flutter and if you really like this video, please share it with your friends who are also learning Flutter. So we created this new project in Visual Studio Code and I will delete these extra comments. Okay, and I will also uh, remove these two extra classes, my home page and my home page state. Okay, so that we can start with a clean slate. And I will also remove these title parameter, which is not required for now. And I will create a new class, my home page. I will create the stateless widget. Okay, and over here, instead of container, it will return a scaffold. Okay, so now what I will do, I will uh, run this much in my emulator. Okay, so now you can see it is just the blank screen. Okay, so when we just write scaffold over here, it just returns a plain white blank screen. Okay, so now we will start by adding the app bar. Okay, so we will start by writing app bar. Okay, and we will add the title to this app bar okay we will add the text okay say app bar say hello world okay okay when i save and hot reload you can see this app bar will appear over here by default it will take the blue color okay so now what we will do is by default this app bar will take a blue color because in the material app we have specified this color now we will start by adding the leading over here okay now what leading property of this app bar constructor is it will appear in the uh, top left hand side okay so whatever we write in the leading it will appear on the top left hand side so we can uh, in this example i will first add the icon over here okay i will add the icon button so icons dot you can add any icon you want okay say verify user so now you can see that whatever we add in the leading it will appear on the top left side now let me change this say edit okay and uh, now you can see that this has changed okay now it is not necessary that always we can uh, we have to add icons only okay we can add text or anything i've just written this on press null over here okay so right as i said it is not necessary to always add the icons we can add text also okay so let me show you that also in the leading we will add the text okay and we will say edit okay when i save and hot reload you can see that this is this has appeared over here okay so let me give a proper alignment you can either wrap it in a container or you can wrap it in a row okay so when we wrap it in a row it will come into the center okay and if you want we can give some padding to this so that it appears properly okay so when i save and hot reload and padding 10 okay you can see now right okay so we can add a icon or text or whatever widget as per your requirement okay so we have seen the leading and the title properties okay the leading and the title property of your app bar constructor okay now we will uh, we can we also have this actions over here and whatever we write in the actions will appear in the top right side okay so let me start by adding an icon icon button over here and i will add the icon say icons dot okay whatever icon you want you can add let me put the call i call button phone okay and i will write the on pressed null okay just first when uh, let me show you this okay on pressed null okay so when i save and hot reload you can see this icon is appearing over here we can change the color of the icon by colors dot white okay so when i save and hot reload you can see this icon color has been changed over here 
so this uh, let me do one thing remove this debug banner from here okay so i will go to my material app and over here i have to write this property show debug show check banner and make it false okay so this ribbon will go so now you can see leading title and the action buttons okay now in the action buttons we can add more than one widgets also okay so you if you for example if you want two icon buttons over here you can do that okay so along with the icons dot i will say video call okay when i save and hot reload you can see there are two icons appearing over here okay so in the actions you can specify more than one widgets okay and in the leading part we have to specify only one widget of course you can add multiple widgets by adding row or column that is a different story but by default it takes only one child and the action will take multiple child okay so now let us explore more properties of app bar uh, this uh, uh, there is one property like background color we can change the background color to whatever uh, we require as per our project design for example i have changed this to pink now okay now there is this property elevation and by default okay so when we do the elevation zero you can see that this is like a flat and there is no shadow okay when you remove this okay now a bit of shadow is appearing i am not sure if you could see this in your screen in this screen if i give 10 okay now you can see there is more shadow just beneath the app bar okay so right now i will remove it okay so this elevation property is also mostly used in creating the projects okay so now let us see okay this is the uh, center title property okay by default in the android the title appears on the left side and on ios it appears on the center so when i do center title true this title will appear in the center okay in the android by default it appears on the left side and on ios by default it appears on the center okay so if you want to control the position of this title you can uh, do this by center title property okay now what else okay now there is a shape property also in the app bar okay you can make the app bar and customize the shape of it as per your requirements i will be showing you a small example how to do it okay you can play around with the more properties as per your requirements so i have written shape round round rectangle border okay and over here i'll give the border radius border radius dot vertical i will give okay border radius dot vertical okay and over here i will say bottom radius dot circular and i will specify the value of the radius over here say 30 okay so when i save and hot reload you can see at the bottom this radius is applied okay so it has uh, changed the shape from its default one okay so you can play around the property of the shape to get whatever you want as per your requirements okay and control the radius like this okay so the, uh, the that was it for the today's video i hope you liked it and if you really did please share it with your friends who are also learning flutter thank you so much for watching